Hey guys, Lockbreak Gaming here, and today we'll be covering the second week of anniversary. So last week we got Blazing Fast Kakashi and Obito, along with Super Impact Madara. And this week, unfortunately, it's not Blazing Bash week. It's um a date week actually. I mean, it's, I consider it a date week. So we got the Facebook campaign. If the event wants to load. Yeah, so we got um, 33 pearls and 50 summon tickets, so that's 10 singles. If you're lucky, you could get a limited time character, but chances are you will probably just get 10 silver. I was lucky enough to get Hashirama, so you know, that's cool. And then, as for the main event, we have the Tales of a Gutsy Ninja, which gives us... A special token like last time when Shisui came. He had a special event with the ninja headbands. Now we have this um, book as like a token. And as you can see, the reward is Jiraiya, a skill type. And looking at his abilities, it's pretty trash honestly. I don't know why they keep doing this. I don't know why they keep giving free to play units this like wacky ass resistance. Like they are not even helpful since it's only 25% and chances are you're not gonna like leave them out on the field so you know. Uh, and then it's Jiraiya which is like it's cool I guess but uh, so he's short range as well so even bigger downside. As for the fuel skill, reduce heart elemental damage, which is, which sucks honestly, cause you're never gonna have him on the field. I mean, you probably never even use him, but you know, that's besides the point. His 20 attack body skill, which is okay, but he doesn't go under 28, he goes to 30 cost if I'm not wrong. And then his jutsu, which heals himself based on how much damage he causes, like the bravery Hashirama. By single target and like 5.7 times, so you know, 6.7 times with the ability, but still pretty meh. Then we got Rasengan for 11.2 times, boost um, attack by 25 and restore 4 chakra. Single target as well, so yikes. And the Jutsu animations are also like very meh, to be honest. So that's a pretty bad range. I mean, he's just punching, kicking, nothing cool. The ultimate is unique, you know, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Like, it's kind of satisfying, you know, how he gently lifts them out with the Rasengan and, like, pushes them back down. But, uh, honestly, like, what I would have preferred honestly rather than a Jiraiya character have like a Sage Mode Naruto and Jiraiya like dual unit I get that they both I get that Jiraiya wasn't alive when Sage Mode Naruto was a thing but or they could do like Sage Mode Naruto in like Kakashi and Obito style where it's like Sage Mode Naruto in front and then like Jiraiya in the background that would have been like much cooler honestly and then instead of this three whack ass abilities like either boost them to like 75 percent you know it's a free to play anniversary unit man like if you're gonna make a unit broken now is the time and even if it's 75 percent i don't think you'll use it still but it'll be useful you know and if you're not gonna do that like at least make these like 200 200 200 healing you know to a total of 600 passive healing because skill types really need a good 99 league healer like right now the best we have is um Fu which is like meh you know and then like make this like 2 or 3 you know like why limit yourself like just make free to play units good man like why do you have to shove them with these 3 wackass abilities so yeah that's about it for Jiraiya 
and then of course they're giving us five tickets like not five tickets like 25 tickets but you're probably never gonna like use it really I'm not sure if they're even really worth since that's just like five silvers you know and then six acquisition stone shards which is very valuable 30 speed pills and pills which are all very very valuable so yeah other than that Minotaur got his limit break which is like okay I guess like Minotaur is this brave oh uh, sorry this wisdom Minotaur is kind of outdated so but I put tons of him so I'll, I don't mind him getting a limit break here so right, right now we'll, I'll try the event for the first time I've never looked at any video or tried it for myself of course and it's only one stone which is like a huge shame the missions don't even give like pearls only the completion pearl so you know you're not gonna get much here so I'm just gonna bring final valley Sasuke you know cause He's a safe option. And then I'll use my alternate alternate um, global account to play with myself because playing multiplayer online is really really like bad since it's not two times and then there's a chance that the other players making some really dumb move or doesn't have good units. Or if no one even joins your lobby at all. So it's better to just use your own uh, alternate account. But I get that most people don't have uh, an alternate account. So let's see what they're up to. Okay, so they have barely any health. Which I guess is alright since they are just farming, you know. Um, I don't think they have any few skill to worry about. So, let's just normal attack him. I kinda want to see his jutsu, so let's just see it real quick. I don't think too many people sh like struggle with this. They even gave you like a max health pot at right off the bat. So we have attack weakening for 4 turns and for 15%. So nothing too dangerous here. Yeah, so it's gonna be pain themed, I guess. So, okay, let's just do this real quick. So, Final Valley Sasuke still is a pretty viable option here. Okay, they're a little bit more tanky now. Let's just see what their jutsus do. Oh, it's just the same one as the last map. Attack weakening? Yep. So you know it's really nothing much this event I might just skip to the third map Okay so the skill pain heals With his jutsu And he missed that uh, let me see if Mara has any immunity. I assume the body pain immobilizes then. Since Mara didn't get hit. With a status. Okay, so we are on to the third map. So it's just the same pains and some new ones. Okay, so they have all have immobilization resistance, 
which isn't that much of a problem and the main boss is a bravery type so I guess that's alright I guess like final valley Sasuke one actually with the third dupe he will be pretty good here but I don't have the third dupe on mine so so let's just focus on the boss since we probably don't need to worry about the rest yep and he has no health as well so yeah another pretty easy raid i mean not like i expected it to be difficult or anything yep so that's it pretty meh and a dead week, you know. Why can't they just make any good man? Like, I get that the banners were pretty decent, but one pole. Uh, I mean, this is a good way to farm pills, I guess. So that's a plus side. So yeah, that wraps up this week. Really wish they had more content out. They brought back some old super impacts like um, Ashura and Killer Bee, which has not returned in like forever. So, you know, that's good. I can finally get him 99 luck. And Kisame. So, if you want to farm those, go ahead. Madara will be out for another 20 days. So, yeah, set on that. And yeah. No PvP yet. But I assume that will come with the Blazing Bash part of the anniversary. And free blazing bash multis are over, so you know that's a yikes. Not like I got anything good from it at all, so yeah, so see you guys next time.